Smoothing is a very important part of 3D design. You always need to smooth your objects to achieve realistic results, but remember, different objects require different methods of smoothing. In this video, we're going to look at two important smoothing methods that are commonly used in sculpting and many other situations, Turbo Smooth and Mesh Smooth. But let's find out which situations each of them works best for. But let's find out which situations each of them works best for. The Turbo Smooth modifier, like Mesh Smooth, smooths geometry in your scene. The differences between the two are as follows. Turbo Smooth is considerably faster and more memory efficient than Mesh Smooth. Turbo Smooth also has an option for explicit normals, unavailable in Mesh Smooth. Turbo Smooth provides a limited subset of Mesh Smooth functionality. In particular, Turbo Smooth uses a single smoothing method, can be applied only to an entire object, has no sub-object levels, and outputs a triangle mesh object. Turbo Smooth lets you subdivide the geometry while interpolating the angles of new faces at corners and edges, and apply a single smoothing group to all faces in the object. The effect of Turbo Smooth is to round over corners and edges as if they had been filed or planed smooth. Use Turbo Smooth parameters to control the size and number of new faces, and how they affect the surface of the object. You use Turbo Smooth to produce a non-uniform rational mesh smooth. A NERMS object is similar to a NERBS object in that you can set different weights for each control vertex. Turbo Smooth's effect is most dramatic on sharp corners and least visible on rounded surfaces. Use Turbo Smooth on boxes and geometry with crisp angles. Avoid using it on spheres and similar objects.